Logic gates are pretty much guaranteed to come up in paper two. They all relate to Boolean logic where we're using only true or false values representing binary one and binary zero. Now the first Boolean operation is the not operation and the logic gate is the circuit which carries out this operation. It's got one input, one output, and it looks like this. Don't forget that little circle after the triangle as well. We use truth tables to show all the combinations. Here it's quite simple because we're just flipping the input to be the opposite. Zero becomes one, one becomes zero. And each of these has got a fancy term for it. The one for not is negation. Now for the or operation, can you picture the logic gate? Can you picture the truth table? And can you also remember that fancy word for it? Well, the logic gate looks like this, kind of a crescent moon shape. We've got two inputs this time and one output. Those letters are just representing a Boolean value, either true or false, or one or zero. And the truth table will have four rows to it because we've got two inputs. And the OR operation is very generous. If one of those inputs is a one, if one of those inputs is a true, the output is either one or true. And that fancy word is disjunction. The last logic gate and operation to know is AND, which has the distinction with the OR gate, and that the AND gate has that straight left hand side to it, it's not curved like the OR gate is. And its truth table is far more strict. We only ever get one output if both inputs are one. So in a condition in programming, we need both sides of AND to be true for the whole thing to be true. And the fancy word for AND, which you have to know, is conjunction.